Yeah, Kevin Lowry here. We're out in the middle of nowhere at Buckingham Cemetery, kind of out by Low Point, Casanova. And we're going to a grave of a friend of mine that I worked with at the post office. Her name used to be Anita Loftus, and we're going to the grave of her son. And it's Jake. Jake and Loftus, born April 21st, 1992, May 31st, 2016. We love you, so and you will never be forgotten. Yeah, that's a shame, so young. So, I just kind of scan around the cemetery here. You can see the older ones are up that away. But to get back here, you go along this road, you've got a gate that you've got to open up, and you drive back oh, a good quarter mile or more. So we'll continue and let's walk over and see some of these older ones. You know me, I like the older ones. And especially if there's somebody important, I like to go to those kind of cemeteries. And let's see here. Well, here's a Buckingham. And that's who the cemetery is named after, so that could be them. 1881, both of them. Uh, she died in 37, he died in 67, so that's possible. We'll walk more up this way. Well, there's another Buckingham. And it might even be older. And another Buckingham. So there's quite a few Buckinghams in here. Yeah, let's see if we can read this one. Doesn't look like it. Nope, sure can't. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, here's the... Looks like the original cemetery here. So, we'll look at some of these. See what this big uh, granite one is here, and Simon Mundell. Interesting. But here's a lot of these. Looks like somebody's tried to at least keep them together. You know, put posts on them and. Here's one that's only 25 years old. And there's one way back in there, almost to the woods. So, yeah, let's look. Here's kind of a unique one. James E. Boys. 1865 looks kind of crusty to 1930 what the world needs is not charity but justice so it makes you wonder what happened that they would put that on a stone interesting and this must be the boys family plot boys as in last name 1803 to 56 There's another one, Ruth, she was only about four. And let's see, here's the bigger monument for them. No names on it, just to mark the spot. Wow, and these look like 
These were the original graves in the cemetery. I can't read it, but 18 something. This one was 44 years old. Pretty worn. Let's see, this one is William Buckingham. Boy, can't really make it out. And here's one that was in the uh, Civil War. And see if I can see any other ones here. I can't read that one. This, this one's interesting. I don't haven't seen too many of these. Um, the Buckingham uh, Captain in Baines or Barn Barnes Company Black Hawk War. I can't say as I've ever seen another Black Hawk War one, but except for uh, Joseph Bartholomew in the uh, Clarksville Cemetery. And here's another Buckingham, but hard to read. <laughs> Excuse me. There's an infant. And we'll go down this way. There's a big old tree that's fallen over. Another Buckingham that, yeah, you can't make out, was, looks like, six months and 29 days or something. Yeah. Go back here. Can't read that. Here's one that's got peonies planted. It was, let's see. Infants, Mr. Of, of Mr. and Mrs. Emmanuel Pells. How about that? Babies. Julius Cooney, Cunny, 1859 to 85. This one's all the way back to the fence. And it's just a couple more we'll look at. Montgomery. Turner and Moulton. Now kind of look back towards. There you go. I think I will walk over to that one with the the big uh, granite ball on top. Well, end it there. Once we get there, check that out. Not a cloud in the sky today. It's beautiful. It's supposed to get to 80, 81. It's already pretty warm at 10 till 10. And William E. Rice, August 21st, 1833 to March 22nd, 1907. And his wife, 1831 to 1905. And there's the ball there. Go around here, get a better look. All right, well, that's it for Buckingham Cemetery.